Espresso or shot black is a concentrated coffee drink that is made by pushing heated water through coffee ground under intense pressure. So let's brew some espresso. Firstly, we have to weigh the coffee grounds according to your recipe. For mine, I'm using 20 grams of coffee grounds and it yields around 41 grams of espresso. Check the description down below for the equipment that I'm using in this video. Tamping pressure is really important in getting a good espresso, so make sure you are consistent in your tamping pressure and the puck is even. Now we get the espresso, or we call it short black here in Australia. And then let me show you how to steam the milk. First, purge the steam wand to get rid of any unnecessary liquid and pressure. Place the tip of the steam wand at about half a centimeter in the milk. The heating indicates froth is being created. The more sun it makes, the more froth you get. Here is a tip for you. Place the steam wand on the side of the jug so it can get a swirl. This will clear any bubbles. The temperature of the milk should be around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. A good steam milk should look silky with no bubbles. The first string is flat white. It has one shot of espresso and topped with milk. Flat white has less than one centimeter of froth. As little foam as possible, but enough to draw a latte art on the top. It is popular in Australia and for those who like milk coffee with less froth. The second drink is cappuccino. It is originated from Italy and it has equal ratio of espresso, milk, and froth. Most cafes in Australia sprinkle chocolate powder on top of the cappuccino. But if you're not a fan of chocolate powder, just let the barista know. Cappuccino has the highest amount of foam compared to other drinks. It's like drinking marshmallow. The drink will look like it has never-ending foam. The third drink is called Cafe Latte. It is one of the most popular coffee drink in the world. In Australia, it is normally served in a glass. It has one shot of espresso and milk with one centimeter of froth. The next drink is piccolo latte. It is basically a small version of cafe latte. One shot of espresso and milk with foam. It is served in a 3 to 4 ounces glass, which makes it stronger than a cafe latte. And then we have macchiato. We usually call it mac here in Australia. Short mac for single shot and long mac for double shot. It is basically espresso with milk foam on top. The next drink is Magic. It is originated from Melbourne and can be found exclusively here. There are a few arguments about the ratio and the recipe of the drink, but in most places, it is a strong coffee with double ristretto and filled with milk three-quarter full. Ristretto is usually the first 15 second shot of the espresso, although the time varies from cafe to cafe and from beans to beans. The milk should have less froth than a cafe latte, similar to a flat white. And we have a long black. To prepare a long black, pour some hot water into a cup, then brew a double espresso on top. It is similar to Americano, but long black retains its crema well because we extract the coffee on top of the water, hence it tastes different from Americano. Last, we have mochaccino which is a drink with espresso, chocolate, and milk. So, those are all the drinks that you will usually find in an Australian cafe. I hope it is useful for you. If you have any question, please comment down below and I'll answer it. Don't forget to check the description for all the products I'm using today. 
Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.